welcome back to the Super Mario 64 Crouching Run. Yes, part 2 is going to have audio narration, and no, I do not have a microphone. Uh, I hope the poor audio quality doesn't make the video absolutely unwatchable, um, but if it does, please tell me in the comments, or tell me which style of narration you prefer, the audio narration or the Panenkoic-esque text-based narration. In this video, we'll get as many stars as we can in Womp's Fortress, and don't worry, it's actually surprisingly simple. The most important thing in this level is this warp, which takes us to areas that would be otherwise impossible or extremely tricky to reach. One option for reaching this warp is taking this lower path, which involves backflipping over several obstacles and moving platforms. However, this is much riskier than some other options, and by that I mean there is an actual chance of death. This upper path here is both safer and easier, plus it takes about the same amount of time which is way too long. The first start, chip off Womp's block, is not much of a challenge. The only things to consider are that Mario is much slower when crawling, and it also takes more time to set up and execute a backflip than a normal jump. Other than that, this boss fight is exactly the same. Here we go! The second start, to the top of the tower, is hardly a challenge either. All you need are good positioning and a couple of well-timed backflips. Here we go! Besides opening the cannon, which requires the use of the backflip trick and also a PhD in Mario mechanics, shooting to the wild blue is roughly the same. Skipping a few stars for now, star number 6, Blast Away the Wall, is an absolute piece of cake. As long as you've already opened the cannon, collecting the star is almost identical to in a normal run. The fifth star, Fall into the Caged Island, is slightly trickier than the ones before it. This is because you have to backflip into the owl in order to catch it. However, once you get that down, the star is a piece of cake. Here we go! The remaining two stars, the red coin and 100 coin stars, are definitely the longest and most difficult in Flop's Fortress. They require you to use the owl to reach the floating islands, and also abuse the warp to cross the level multiple times. However, though it takes a while, nothing is too difficult. I'll only show getting the 8 red coins and the 100 coin star because the entire route is terribly long and excruciatingly boring. Enjoy the montage. With that, we collected all 7 stars in Womp's Fortress, bringing us to a total of 9 stars. In the next video, we'll tackle Cool Cool Mountain. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking or subscribing, and leave a comment down below on what you thought of the narration and video structure overall. Thanks for watching. Mamma mia!